Welcome back to The Rhyme Report. I am your host, Adam Dash, and this is what happened this week in hip-hop. This week, in honor of Super Bowl Sunday, raps Kadarius Tony because he always drops when the lights are the brightest, Kanye West finally dropped his long-awaited album, Vultures, with Ty Dolla Sign. Kanye is currently playing a fun game of phone tag with his streaming services as he continues to add and delete songs from the album and as he continues to take the album completely off streaming services while also putting it right back on. Vultures has features from artists like YG, Nipsey Hussle, Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, Freddie Gibbs, and more. And you know, Kanye used to be the gap like Banana Republic and Old Navy, but the way he's copying trends like remixing classic 2000s pop hits, he's kind of like Zara. Ozzy Osbourne, famously known for eating the head of a bat on stage, told Kanye he may not use the sample of War Pigs in the song Carnival. So Kanye, in very typical Kanye fashion, decided to sample Kanye by using Hell of a Life on the track instead. Because no one loves Kanye the way Kanye loves Kanye, but no one samples Kanye the way Kanye samples Kanye. The Grammys happened last Sunday night, an award that we all act like we don't care about, but then we write think pieces for a week about which artist who's 10 years into their career deserve to win Best New Artist more. The Grammys decided not to show any hip-hop awards in the live show, but they did give us a Travis Scott performance that had my mother asking me, why is this man slamming a chair, and why does he keep yelling bean? Killer Mike went three for three in the night, most notably taking home rap album of the year for his album Michael. Killer Mike was later arrested during the evening, but honestly, Donald Glover's new company, Hi Hi, has me questioning every single viral tweet I've seen the last month. Jay-Z later in the evening gave us a podcast-esque rant after he won the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. Jay-Z discussed the inconsistencies of the Grammys as his wife has the most Grammy wins ever but still has never taken home the coveted Album of the Year award. But my question is, how did Killer Mike win Rap Album of the Year and two other awards and he still wasn't nominated for Album of the Year? What will it take for a rap album to be nominated for Album of the Year that's not from an artist named Kendrick Lamar or Kanye West? That's not a joke. Please tell me what it will take. Spotify announced that they are releasing a new feature that will allow you to scroll through an artist's discography similar to a TikTok feed. Each scroll will pay artists a whopping go fuck yourself and make shorter music amount per stream. Lotto took huge nerf size shots at Ice Spice this week when she said, Think I'm the shit, bitch. I know it, ho. Jesus walked on water. I got ice boiling, dog. On her new song, Sunday Service. Little Sims, who is truthfully one of the best rappers I've ever heard, came out with a new EP this week called Drop 7. The album has sounds from house, techno, R&B, Afrofusion, or as the Grammys were nominated as, a hip-hop album. And that's what happened this week in hip-hop.